Hello everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 2. So today we're going to talk Christmas cards. And actually, um, it's funny because I've changed my mind <laughs> with something um, I was going to do. So first of all, I think the Christmas holiday can bring so much stress and so much going on. So if you don't have time this year, or if it's just a stressor, I've had seasons in life, maybe it's a divorce, uh, children moving out, not getting along, um, stuff like that. I think it's okay not to send a card those years because sometimes those years just aren't fun and, um, it's okay. So I give you permission to not send cards, which is what I was thinking about doing this year. But then because 2020 has been so difficult, I think people are really going to enjoy getting Christmas cards this year and they're not gonna, you know, be expecting the perfect family portrait. Um, you know, I don't have a picture of all the family together because we have teenagers and little kids. So I'm just going to get some of our few photos throughout the year. And I am going to go ahead and send a card because I think people this year, especially the older people that have been stuck at home are really going to want to see, um, those pictures. So I do think that is a reason worth digging out the old <laughs> computer or whatever you have your photos on which by the way, will be another vlogmas coming up about photos and what to do with them. But for today, I did just want to add, add that part about, I do think more than ever people are going to want to see photos and they, you know, whether it's one photo or five, go to Costco, you can upload photos really easily and make a card fairly inexpensive and uh, go ahead and send them to people or send an e-card if you don't want to pay for postage and stuff like that. So I just think something right now. And if you're more able and you have all the time in the world, I think you should handwrite stuff, get some mail out there because people are needing it more than ever. But one of the things I recently just purchased, and I'm going to flip you around here, is a card. Well, I took a picture of myself. How about that? <laughs> is a card uh, holder. So I purchased this card holder uh, on Black Friday at Michael's. So A, it is huge. It is like 10 times bigger than I expected it to be. So here's like a, you know, a smaller card, but still, I mean, this thing is huge. Um, and so, I mean, my hand on it, I just, it was so big, but I appreciate that because there are going to be those cards you get that are just darn huge. So it's going to be for me like only one card, but it's going to be that big. I feel like I did deal a lot more with little cards. So it has these great little dividers that I'm putting in while I'm on the phone with you. Sorry, filming and talking apparently are two separate tasks. I do not well do well on or together I do well on my own with each of those. <laughs> um, but let me just shove these in here so I can talk. So it has all these dividers so you can put in, um, your cards in each section. Um, I don't think it came with dividers, uh, but that's okay. I think any, even you may be able to write on these, um, or just some labels. So I have found all, um, I have a lot of thank you cards lately. So, um, put my thank you in the back, uh, for right now, but, um, I have found cards all over the place. And then what happens is they end up getting um, dented or like this one, great card. Um, however, it has no envelope. <laughs> so where is the envelope? Um, and then I did actually, this is, this one doesn't have an envelope because it's one I recently got. I didn't look to the left, which is where my husband signed it. But this I want to put in the back because I want to keep cards that I don't know where to put these yet in my memorabilia keeping. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them, but I thought the perfect slot in the back was or to have one slot that is for cards I've received. That way I know where they are. They're kept safe and all of that. Then I have like some box thank you cards. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these in the box um, if they will fit. We'll see. So it's not going to fit. So I'll take them out. The reason I like taking them out is sometimes the... Um, they can get dented the cards, but, um, obviously I got this for a reason. So hopefully that will, um, not be an issue. So I'm going to dump my thank you cards in the front. I will say, um, 
I have a whole thing of cute little note cards here that it kind of fits, but then it bumps the other one. So I'm not going to use that in there. I probably will take these out of the case because this was not the case they came in. It was a case I found. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is the lovely, um, so here's a cute one, fetching tennis balls. It's a pet card. So I don't even know if it's a thank you card. I've had it for so long. I haven't opened it in 20 years. This is what happens is all these cards get stacked up and then you never use them. <laughs> you end up going, having a pile like this where I literally have, you know, some art cards, but random envelopes and piece of paper and weird shaped cards. Actually, I think that one goes together here. But this brings me to my point. This is one that I had gotten in a pack. So I had gotten, um, this one happened to be 31. I've gotten some from Costco over the years. But I do enjoy the packs of cards that you can get. They're kind of cute. They sometimes come in really cute packages. But I will say the problem with these cards that you buy in these packages is then you end up with random cards. Like I had, I think I have, a, and I have, I only grabbed a few cards to shoot this video real quick, but I have, I think like three housewarming cards and I don't even think I've ever sent a housewarming card. So <laughs> it's probably not something I need. And then I have weird birthday ones. And to me, the people I do send birthday cards to, I kind of want to pick it out for their personality, their style, um, so be careful when you get those, they can be expensive. This is why I'm bringing the, buying the box so they don't bend. Um, they can be expensive, but I do think the key is, um, just having cards on hand because that is one of the things that I see a lot that no one has on hand, or if you do, do you even know where they are? Um, I had a great binder for a while that was really good, but then after a while, it just didn't work. And so I wanted something a little more hardier, something maybe my kids, I can put up that my kids can't get into, um, that I can see. So I can see when I'm running low on cards, you know, a good idea would be even to label the sides. So, you know, oh my gosh, I'm getting low on this kind of card, but just be mindful of the boxes is where I was getting to in that you don't want to end up with a bunch of cards that you're never going to, to send. I would also go through this about once a year just to clean out things so you don't end up with a bunch of stuff. And then instead of buying the card boxes with all the different cards, I would every once in a while put on your list like, hey, it's a coffee day. I'm going to go grab a coffee and walk through Target and purchase some gift card or yeah, uh, birthday cards, Halloween, anniversary, whatever card you want. Um, go ahead and go for it. And then if you do find yourself in these rushing times, sometimes you're looking to do a card or you look over at the aisle as you're walking by and go, Oh, Mother's Day is coming up. Think about the things that you will need in the next three months so that you're buying co cards quarterly instead of always on the fly. Um, you know, think about, okay, when I buy my Mother's Day cards, I'm going to go ahead and buy my Father's Day cards. Um, graduation cards, those spring kind of cards, you know, Father's Day, Mother's Day, graduation all kind of go together. So think about in April or early May, uh, I'm going to go buy all my cards for the season, uh, for the spring, I should say. And then, you know, for kids always have just general birthday cards. Don't get the numbered ones, although they're cute, but you're never going to have the right one. Um, generic is better for all of the kids' items or birthday cards. Um, and then again, you know, everybody always has a birthday. So whenever you find yourself buying a card, I always say, what other three cards could you buy? Because there's always cards to buy. But I'm excited about this box. It keeps all my cards. It connects. It has a little handle and it can sit up on my shelf and I will always know where they are. Um, I have a spot for it. That's the other thing is you have to have a spot so you know where to look for it. Um, and it'll be easy just to grab down, grab the card I need and put it back. So does anybody else store their cards in something like this? Do you, you know, are they shoved in a drawer somewhere? Are they, um, do you not do cards? Do you hand make cards? I think you guys are amazing. I do not hand make cards. That to me, hand making cards to me is a nightmare. That sounds scary and daunting and expensive and crafty and I'm not crafty. I scrapbook and I do puzzles, but that's my crafts and planning. I guess planning can be a little crafty, but, um, 
put the comments down below on what you do for cards, any reasons you're not mailing them out or reasons you are mailing them out. And I would love to chat with you guys. So go ahead and comment down below and let me know the one thing you are looking forward to this Christmas season. Take care, guys.